afternoon, THP. It's Freddie Kong, Tadashi 70. I'm here at the PGA Show with Terry Kohler of Score Golf. We're going to talk about a little bit about filling in the gaps at the bottom of your bag. So, you know, gapping wedges is getting to be a lot in the news right now, and, and the tour players are starting to move to carry a few more wedges in their bag, you know, get the loft gapping right, and it's so critical. And what makes it difficult, Freddie, is that irons have different specifications on the 9 and the 8 iron loft. So, sure. so your prescription might be a, a starting at a 48 or a 50 degree wedge, the next guy may be a 47 or a 49. And the industry has always been, well, you get close and then you bend the wedge to get the rest of the way. Right. And I just don't like the idea of bending a wedge to something it wasn't designed to be. Okay. So what we did is we created an array of 21 lofts. We make every loft from 41 all the way to 61 degrees. So whether you want four wedges at five degree gaps, five wedges at four degree gaps, six wedges at three degree gaps, we can hit your exact prescription right on the money. Right. So you may play a, a 42, 47, 52, 57, and the next guy may play a 41, 45, 49, 53, 57. But whatever your prescription is, we're the only company that has every single off in the line, and we felt it was just a way to give precision to the end of the game that really requires the most precision. Now, are you looking to stay uniform as far as your gapping is concerned, about four degrees between each club? It really varies for the golfer. Four degrees is pretty universal for golfers of average strength. Right. You take a golfer that maybe only hits an eight iron 120, five degree gaps will give them a manageable 11 or 12 yards between clubs. But you know we're seeing more and more of these young guys that are hitting it so far, and it's really kind of a tough sell on them. But it's like you know you don't need five clubs that go over 200 yards. Right. What you need is five or six that go under 150. So if you had a pitching wedge 150, yeah, you could make a real good case for five or six wedges so that you have tighter distance gaps when you're down in scoring range and wider gaps out there at the long range. Great. Well, you heard it, THP. You have 21 options to choose from to fill your gaps. Check out Score Golf and give us your feedback. This is Freddie Kong with THP Golf TV.